So there's been a lot of discussion around me um, lately about the difference between a naughty child who is throwing a tantrum and a child with a developmental disability or any disability for that matter who is having a meltdown. I know it seems silly for those of us who live in the world of autism to have to describe this and explain the difference, but there are a lot of people who don't understand that when a child with autism is having a meltdown, they are not trying to be naughty. It may look that way to the rest of the world, but that's not the case. And there are some key differences between a tantrum and a meltdown. When a child is having a tantrum, we know the sole purpose of this is for attention. If that child is throwing a huge hissy fit and there's nobody there to pay any attention to it, good or bad attention, chances are that tantrum's going to stop. Um, another key thing about a tantrum is those children are in control enough that they avoid hurting themselves. That's not the case when a child is having a meltdown due to a disability. They are, have no concept of danger at that point in time. They're not in control of their emotions and their physical bodies to be able to keep themselves safe. And that's a big, big difference between tantrums. Attention also, it doesn't matter. You can leave a child alone in a safe room and a meltdown can last for hours with nobody watching. Because, again, as I said, there is little control over the body and the person when the meltdown is occurring. Another important thing to remember when it comes to a meltdown is that every possible... Um, I just lost my train of thought. Every possible emotion or manipulation that a child um, with autism has, whether it's anger or sadness or anxiety <clears throat> or loss of control over their body or their surroundings come into play when there's a meltdown. It's emotionally draining for everybody that's involved, both the child who's having the meltdown and the adults around who are trying to keep him or her safe. Um, it doesn't matter what is said. It doesn't matter if you're a parent that spanks. It, it doesn't matter if you use time out. These things are not going to work when a child is having a meltdown. I can often be heard as a parent saying to different therapists and professionals and educators around that it doesn't matter how much you punish a child if their disability is what caused the behavior issue in, in question, you can't punish that away. You can't punish a child every time they have a meltdown due to autism and expect it to go away. It is very important that the adults, the therapists, the teachers, the educators, the parents around are teaching that child the proper tools and techniques so that they can make it without having such major meltdowns. But sadly, many of these children, as they grow into adults, will continue to have these issues. Partly because we're in such a hateful, judgmental society. There's no toleration at all. There's no understanding. You know, if you see a child at a restaurant, a movie theater, the park, the school, the doctor's office, it doesn't matter where because they're everywhere. If you see a child who is clearly behaving outside what would be expected, don't just assume it's a bad kid or that it's a bad parent because that isn't always the case. Offer your assistance. You'd be surprised how often a parent would accept your help. If it's a parent of a child with a disability, it'll make a world of difference. If it's a parent of a child without a disability and it truly is just a tantrum, maybe they don't know any better. Maybe your words of encouragement or your offer to assist would make or break the cycle of what's going on. I know in last week's vlog I talked about tolerance 
and and this week's vlog is certainly a carryover of that. Um, I just wanted to go in a little more in depth detail of the differences uh, between a tantrum and a meltdown. And I hope that if you aren't living the life of autism or any other major disabilities, that you try to understand when you witness these behaviors, they're heartbreaking. They are devastating. They're emotionally draining for those that are involved. And I can tell you that as a parent who witnesses it a lot from more than one of her children, that the last thing that we want to deal with is the judgment of people who don't know. Um, especially those around us that are claiming to be friends or family or they claim to understand that judgment speaks volumes. So, you know, I implore you, reach out, educate yourself. If you aren't living with a disability, make friends with somebody who is. You would learn so much. And I can speak from experience that what we really want as parents are real friends. Friends who understand we might not call very often. Friends who understand that we may have to break dates at the last minute. Friends who are willing to listen but not speak at all. You know, sometimes I just want to vent and get all of these emotions out, but I don't want to be judged. And I don't even want to your advice sometimes. I just need a shoulder. So I, I implore you, try to be a little tolerant. Try to understand. Be supportive. If you're a parent of a child, a teacher of these amazing young men and women who will be adults in our near future, keep doing it. Do what you love, love what you do. Teaching's not a job, it's a life. And the difference between an average teacher and a really, really good teacher is the difference between our children being successful and growing up and feeling love and success and happiness. So um, I encourage you the next time you're out and about and you see these behaviors, that you stop before you judge. You never know what the story is. And if you are observant enough, you might find yourself realizing that it isn't a tantrum, but a behavior meltdown. So again, thanks for listening. If you have questions, I'd love to hear them in the comment. Um, suggestions for further vlogs are always welcome. And I also encourage you to check out A Million Pieces for Autism on Facebook. Um, we're doing a lot of really good things, and we'd love your support.